Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to see something really, really amazing. A magic that is that can be like coded, or I mean, I don't know. I don't have the words to say or words to express. It is going to be you going to be witnessing every single thing. So we have Panalal Patodia sir here, CEO of Patodia Infotech. He is going to show us some cool artificial intelligence magic with. because he has got around 20 years of experience and it's going to be really really cool so wait till the end i was unable to talk in this complete session because i'm completely awestruck by what he has shown to me and uh, it the way he was explaining to me i couldn't speak like it was so mesmerizing for the first time in my life i'm looking at things like this so i believe it is going to be the same experience for you all so watch till the end and thank you for coming in don't forget to like share and subscribe to this video and over to panna sir i am pannalal patodia ceo of patodia infotech private limited we provide ai based solutions through our website fastdayai.com our services can be broadly divided into three categories for developers for students and for content creators like marketing agencies blog writers and general public we provide multiple services for students like giving answers generating articles poems stories etc we also create study notes from topic and paragraphs for developers we generate code from english description in multiple programming languages apart from this we generate sql data analytics and shell commands from english description we also explain the code in plain english in today's presentation we will mainly talk about our code generation services where we will solve some problems from advent of code let us start with a poem on advent of code so we will start with poem we will generate a poem on will generate a poem on advent of code nice it will generate poem on advent of code a challenge awaits a puzzle to solve a code to decipher a part to absorb the advent of code a game of delight a challenge to conquer a puzzle to ignite a month of puzzles a new one each day a code to unravel a test of your grit a new challenge awaits a new problem to solve a code to decipher a path to absorb the advent of code a game of delight a challenge to conquer a puzzle to ignite and every time we click we get a different poem suppose i again click good. on it nice <laughs> Yeah, again, if I send that poem, but how does it know about advent of code is gonna be like a new challenge every single day? Yes, it knows. Advent of code, a challenge, the test our metal, a puzzle to solve, a code to unravel, a month of coding, a problem each day, a new challenge is awaits as the clock tick away, a mental workout, a coding race to build up your skill. and find the right place advent of code a month of discovery a chance to learn a chance to grow okay extremely good amazing good amazing yeah. now we will go for uh now we will see medium answer again okay. same thing advent of code or we will say what is advent of code
does this use something like chat gpt in the behind because open ai and chat gpt are becoming extremely popular nowadays and due to this the trend people definitely will be asking whether it is using something like that in the behind it is using combination of uh codex gpt 3 and codex okay and right. on the top of it we are doing some pre processing plus some fine tuning got it okay now we, we have asked the question what is the what is advent of code it says advent of code is an annual programming challenge created by eric wasal it consists of series of small programming puzzles that are released daily from december 1st to december 25th oh my god each puzzle has a unique solution so it give complete detail it's in interesting very interesting cool this is good this is best correct yeah now we will write a story also on advent of code Let's before seeing the real problem solving one story also will generate and we can decide the number of words also so i say approximately 300 words story you generate now it has generated generated the story it was the year 20 aksa and the word was in chaos a mysterious virus has swept across the globe leaving no corner untouched the economy was in shambles and governments were struggling to keep order in the midst of this darkness a new light emerged the advent of code the advent of code was a mysterious new program that was created by an unknown source it was a revolutionary new programming language something something it has created a story i don't know whether you like it or not or again we will generate one this, more story this is very interesting okay <laughs> let's generate another story <laughs> it all began when one fateful day when the mysterious coder known as Santa Claus created a programming challenge called Advent of Code. He wanted to challenge the coding community to think outside the box and create innovative solutions to various coding problems. Little did he know that his challenge would become a beloved holiday tradition for coders around the world. The challenge itself was quite simple. Are you sure about this? <laughs> Every day of December, a new coding problem would be posted online. Like coders would then have 24 hours to solve the problem and submit their solutions. At the end of the month, the la- best solutions would be awarded prizes. The challenge quickly grew into popularity with coders all around the world competing for the top spot. Soon, advent of code was being featured on major coding websites. and the challenge was even being discussed on popular coding forums as the challenge grew so did the difficulty of the problems now i understand that's true the problems being became increasingly complex and difficult requiring coders to use more and more advanced techniques however the challenge still remained accessible to all the levels of coders as they could choose to tackle the easier problem first and then work their way up to the harder ones as the years have passed Advent of code has become a beloved holiday tradition for coders around the world. It brings together coders from all the backgrounds and allows them to share their knowledge and skills to solve various challenges. So if you are looking for a fun and challenging way to spend your holiday season, look no further than Advent of code. You'll be sure to have an exciting and rewarding experience that you won't soon forget. Amazing, literally amazing. Hey, what about will it be able to tell something about me about you yeah mm, it might not be able to tell exactly about you okay you work on uh, manly react js correct you ask any question on react js 
you want I mean, story, I, mean, I, I, you totally want oil. I totally understand that it can get a lot of information about various topics but what about hmm. specific individuals is that possible at all specific individuals it might not be able to tell you it will not be knowing much about you but about a particular see uh, for example uh, you want to generate a poem on react js or say react uh, how it works operators or any okay. uh, this thing on even story you want story on react js whatever you tell me something we'll do that let's Then let's we'll do a story the, on react uh, js react js oh yes yep react Yes, and you, can you tell me something about React JS? Uh, 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 some particular this thing in top virtual React DOM. JS. Hmm? Virtual DOM. Virtual D O M. Okay. okay. We'll ask to generate the story, but we will sp- spelling we will rectify. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. DOM is it's DOM. wrong. It's the it says React. No, it's React. space js it should be react js yeah, yeah, yeah yes no no i'll i'll put uh, caps react space js yes. yes okay okay that works now let's see we'll say we'll generate the story React JS is like an open source JavaScript library developed by Facebook for creating user interface. It is used to build single page application that are dynamic, interactive and responsive. Concept of DOM, virtual DOM is in memory. It is more like a explanation answer rather than a story. Okay. Fine, still it is magical. Okay. Yes, still it is magical, but it is uh, uh, more like a, uh, i feel more like an answer on an article small article rather than a story a story That's... i think we have to uh, make it something like uh, i'll say I'll, i'll tell you how we can create a story we started working on react yes yes then hmm now it will create a story okay hmm this thing this time story will be created ah nice Okay. This alone is enough. <laughs> <laughs> It is super cool. How about solving some problems? What about solving the first day of advent of code? Will it even work that way? Yes, let us start. Okay. So, this is the first problem. Uh-huh. Shantas, I will not read the entire story. I have already yeah. read about this in my YouTube channel so we can just skip the reading of story it is the day one problem of advent of code yes. let's see how okay. it solves it now what we see as soon as you encounter new line it stops something that correct some is stopped and then at the end it is asking find the help carrying the most calories means so what we have done is we have uh, created this into a simple problem in this problem we will give it to the this let us see generate code from english okay. now we have converted into plain english the text we have saved it to input 01.txt and we say okay. open file input 0.1 text then assign sum is equal to 0 and max sum because we want to compute sum as well as maximum sum correct read each line and convert this to integer keep adding to sum till you encounter two new lines 
Okay. So as soon as new lines are there, it is put to sum. If sum is greater than max sum, assign sum to max sum, display max sum. This is the problem. Excellent. And we say generate. Okay. Is it clear? It is very clear. Yeah. Now, we generate the problem. And, sorry, we generate the code. Now, this code, we will put somewhere. And we will call it day 01 a dot py okay and then we'll execute it mm -hmm. python a 011 we got 66306 right right and let us see it the answer is 66306 for Amazing. me Okay, cool. <laughs> cool. So this is Pannalal Patodia. Okay, me. Now, the second part when we go, it says top three always carrying the most, find the top three always carrying the most calories. Mm -hmm. And how many calories are those always carrying in total? So yeah, what we, we need to find? Basically, three we, should, sums. Uh, we should sort the array by uh, um, descending order of the size. And then add the first three uh, elements, something like that. That is what I would think. Correct. Exactly. So what we do, second part, this is the second part. And another thing which is most uh, important is, uh, it is not necessary that we generate Python. We can generate in any language once we return this. Yes. We can decide the language. Suppose you are you are more interested in JavaScript, I take JavaScript. Yes. And we'll say generate. This time we generate JavaScript code. Will it also try to change from one language to another? Oh my god. Okay. It's gonna yes. read now, this thing. Yes. What it is oh, wow. doing. Okay. That's exactly we'll, we'll what it does. Yeah. And now we will say day 01b dot js. Okay. And then we will run. We will say node. Load. Okay. A 01b js. And it says 195.292. Right. Okay. Right. Now we will check. It is 195.292. This is so good, extremely good. But the good. one one check here is we need to understand what exactly the question says us to do. That is the only challenge. Actually, that is the main challenge for me to stop working on uh, advent of code because I did not quite understand the question itself. <laughs> okay, I, I'll also I'll show you something. We will go to second problem and then we will go to third problem. Third problem, what we did, I'll, I'll tell you. Second problem was again simple. This rock paper scissor and there are two A, Y, B, X, C, Z and something, something, something. And then what you need to do if you win, you are, you get extra six points. Oh, yeah. If you draw, you get three points. One point four. And if, if you, you lose, hmm? if you, lose point. you don't get any point. Plus, okay. For x1, y2, and z3. These okay. are the, this is the summary. Now, we will take problem 2 and we'll say open. And this is very, very easy. I, for me, it took hardly 2 to 3 minutes to read, understand, and convert. This time we will do in C. Okay. This is problem two. And the input file has been changed to input 0 0.2, assign sum to zero, read each line. You will see two uppercase letters separated by space. First letter can be A, B, or C. Second letter can be X, Y, or Z. The value of X is one, Y is two, Z is three. Add value to sum based on the second letter. Winning combination are these. Add six score for winning combination. These are drawing combination for this. Add three. 
and if you are losing you no need to add anything at the end display the value of sum and okay. now we generate the c++ program only thing c++ we have to compile got it we can't run directly it's not an interpreted language okay this is compiled language this has done and now we are ready to go and this we say day 0 to a dot cpp e p p mm -hmm. Then we go there, we compile G++ minus standard is equal to C++11 A02 minus O A02 A dot EXE I have not even uh, optimized it Okay 11,386. Okay. Okay. And then we go and see 11,386. Excellent. Now, in second, they have changed slightly and they said, following the else instruction for the second column, what would your total score if everything was exactly according to your strategy guide? It has changed strategy slightly. Okay. okay. Based on that, we have created this statement. And this time we will take one more language. Which language you want? Java will take? Uh, yeah, sure. You how can take even ReactJS. We can how, say. Okay. How does it work on HTML? I'm very curious to see. Let's do the second well. next one on HTML. No, HTML is only for generating pages. Ah, okay. We don't be able to solve this problem. Now, only thing is, uh, we want it to call day zero to B, so that class name we have to change. It okay. has given name. What we have to do is, we'll take it. And this name we have to give day zero to B. Day okay. zero to B. Okay. And we should save it as day zero to B dot Java, right? Yes. And then we have to save it day zero to B Java. Okay. Save it. And then we will compile Java PC day zero to B dot Java. And then we will say Java and thirteen thousand six hundred. Okay. And then mm -hmm. we go here and check it is thirteen thousand six hundred. Excellent. Now we will try third problem. Third problem is so simple that we need not even convert into English. We'll straight away put this act exactly as it is. Let us see okay. what happens. We will take the language as Python. Okay. And we will say the only thing we have to tell it, which is required, is use the input file, take the input from the input 03. Because this is where we have saved the correct. That's it. We'll say now because we have given a very big this thing, it will take more time. If we can simplify, it will it generate in. Able. Yeah. Does no, this do some generated. kind of like a natural language processing or something like that? Yes, we are doing natural language, some processing, pre-processing, okay. and then now. This time we have not done even any changes. Original this problem as it is we have taken and we are saying day 03 a dot py. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And we say Python a 03 a 
7 at 2 4 yeah right yeah now we will see whether 7 at 2 4 wow <laughs> great yes amazing now instead of same line uh, comparing half of the string what it is saying first three string you compare right first three lines the mm -hmm. next three lines right now instead of taking uh, such a big this thing we have again used our own simplified method of course we can use original one also but simplified method will be still easier easier okay uh, this is too big this is simplified method okay and we we say open file assign sum to zero read first three line find a common letter in those three lines in simple then ways, next it is line. just a pseudo code it's a pseudo code exactly yeah. a common yeah. letter is lowercase value is this uppercase letter value is this that is all given in the problem okay for small case more this case and then at the end display the value of some nothing more than that excellent add okay. this value to some based on first three lines and next three lines and so on at the end display the value of some you can write in different way also the, you you can express same problem in slightly different slightly different ways are okay okay this is the way i feel you can feel different you can write in different way based on your understanding and let us see what it does this we call base 0 3 Okay. E dot P Y and Python zero three B two seven nine eight. Excellent. Okay. Uh, now let us see whether it is two seven nine eight or not. It is, right. it is two seven nine eight. Yes. So almost yeah. See, I did not solve all the problem because I am busy in so many other things. I understand. But I can show you problem four. See, problem four, what we are trying to do, it is two to four, six to eight, it is something like that given. If one contains in another, that is the main criteria here. Yeah. So what we did is, we have put into a simple problem. That's all. This is what we did. And okay. Assign sum to zero, read each line as split using comma, and we get two pair. A split each pair using dash. For first pair, assign A to A and B. For second pair, assign C and D. Convert A, B, C, and D to integer. Now check if A is less than C and b is greater than d add one to sum otherwise if a is greater than c and b is less than d then also add one to sum and add yeah. and display sum that's all the problem yeah simple these are not as complicated as they make it okay actually these are simple problem this, this is the entire program to solve the problem okay <laughs> sides of the problem. <laughs> And we say day zero four a dot p y mm -hmm. and say five one five. Okay. And this is a five one five. Yeah. Nice. Now here slightly they have changed. Mm -hmm. the problem in part two so we also had to change accordingly i'm not reading the full problem and full solution and all this thing just what they have changed only i'm changing definitely And the key advantage is 
you can generate solution almost any language that's true from yeah. python javascript java c c++ c sharp php html you cannot go perl ruby typescript haskell kotlin scala swift dart but nice. okay we are taking anyway this is the entire solution for the core b problem and we will say a 04b.py mm -hmm. and we got a 33 that is the correct answer as well we got a 33 the correct answer. nice see how easy to it's... read the problem put into simple english can Generate code in almost any language. These are the powerful tools we are providing to developers, to students, generating poems, generating stories, generating answer, full blog, everything. I think uh, uh, now you want to say something. I want to hear from you, your comments. Sure. Um, let me stop the screen sharing. Wow, this was like amazing. Like whatever we saw right now was using the natural language and then it kind of like generated the complete code. We can see the uh, potential for this. It looks um, uh, very bright because uh, people can use to quickly modify a code from one language to another and uh, also generate a couple of sample codes or like the starter codes that will help them boost their productivity. That's amazing, sir. This is one of the best I have ever seen with with a creative use of like what what we should be working on or like this is the future of a lot of things. What do you say? Exactly. See, it will improve product uh, programmers productivity or developers productivity by four acts or uh, five bucks. Plus, uh, we see the creativity side. It generates the poem on advent of code. Exactly. And every time we click different ones. And and it is not even uh, like it is very humane. Like the way it gives out the output is completely like a human how the person can actually give out. That is wow. I am like amazed. I, I haven't seen anything such a way. So it's your, your opinion I'm, I'm, is wonderful. In in all my live streams, I, is wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. please continue. In all my live streams, I would be talking the most, but uh, this time I'm like completely awestruck. I have got no words to say. I mean, you are a genius, sir. Hats off. <laughs> I am ordinary person, man. I'm just uh, see. Last fifteen years, I am working on uh, AI only, and I have developed my own algorithm. The only problem is. Those algorithms, many companies we have shown they are useful, they can detect fraud much better than today what most methods are having, but still people are not shown much interest. So ultimately, we have taken this open AI's uh, GPT-3 and Codex and then we have put our own pre-processing and fine-tuning and we are trying to give to the world, okay, the base is open AI. But still, we are trying to uh, provide what best we can provide. So Creative site. I'm originally from India. When I was doing my engineering, although we get amazing books like uh, from uh, Andrew Tannenbaum or uh, um, Herbert Skilt, we won't we won't be very happy in reading all those books. But we would be having this local author by S. A. Rajkumar or someone like that. So that would be more easier to un for us to understand and attempt the exams. So it's almost similar what you have done is like open A is the foreign author book and our Panalal Patodia is our local author book. <laughs> so anyone can use open A now. And that's what I would say, right? You can correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. Now, see, we are how many options we are providing? We are providing uh means around 
five options for code generation for students we are providing three six nine eleven twelve option for writing assistant five options we are providing large number of options right i totally get it this is this is amazing it's it's totally amazing to um see how things are uh happening with this yep yes so we will have let us uh, put this on youtube and uh, probably we will have uh, one more session where i'll show you some more magical things okay so I think today everyone, you are I believe, today. everyone i believe that you are ready for another session and by the way sir how should people watching this contact you or connect with you so that uh, they will learn something new will you be open to teach people that includes me as well i too want to learn all these technologies and uh, show people how it is easy to make things like this yes i am ready to teach everything i am ready to teach how to use this tool how to make such tool everything i am ready to share everything thank you thank you and so we much have minimum charges we our charges are much much lesser and we are providing everybody free registration and once register they get a uh, free credit they can explore it for 15 days for limited period limited amount of time and then they can pay and they can use all the, and we are not previously we were providing different service for developer and okay. now we stopped differentiating anybody subscribe means all the services writing assistant developers students everything because uh, poem might be generated by some uh, uh, creative person some creative author some poets also right all the services so okay. thank you very much for uh, providing me opportunity for this session I mean thank you so much for showing us all amazing magic things that can be done using open ai and all these cool stuff um I'm pretty sure a lot of people will like it and uh, thank you so much so for those people who want to connect with Panna sir all the details are in the description go ahead share this video with everyone talk to Panna sir like subscribe and comment your views as well Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much sir. It was amazing thank to you. thank you have you here. Thank you so much Mr. Prabhin. Thanks and bye. Happy day. Go home stay safe and happy holidays. Bye. Bye. And same to you. <laughs>